Fellas, I want to talk to you about fuel additives. Very often, uh, fuel additives are talking about see, um, this, the, the diesels. Let's just stay focused on the diesels. Cetane boost, you know, upper cylinder loop, all this stuff, right? Uh, one thing you're not underlining enough, I feel like they're not advertising enough, carbon buildup, fighting carbon. It is there. It is advertised, but it's not emphasized. Everyone, for some reason, are so worried about lubricity and all this. Lubricity is important. I'm not taking that away. But, um, one of the things is carbon buildup, guys. As, as a gentleman that runs a few of these high mileage trucks, that's been a battle. That's honestly been a battle. And you're going to see, gee, Paul, how are you battling carbon when you got heat and pressure, right? You're always towing something, you're running something. Guys, it's, it's fairly interesting. Either the injectors aren't working properly, which isn't the case, right? We're, we've chested them. They, they're, they're doing just fine. They're probably not brand new spray, but they're decent spray. They're, they're clean operating and all that. It's just over time. Over time, you, you need to run cleaners. You need to run cleaners, not for the sole purpose of keeping your exhaust, or exhaust, excuse me, exhaust is the second thing. Is your fuel system clean, but not only to keep your fuel system clean and loop, but you want to keep your combustion chamber clean. That's something that just doesn't get enough attention. It is spoken, it is underlined, but it's just not brought, brought to the forefront. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, carbon buildup is a big thing, and we're seeing it time and time over with these high mile, higher mileage trucks. Um, the way I run my uh, cleaners is, you know, every oil change in the winter, we try to run, well, we, we make emphasis on putting cleaner in the fuel tank. And that, throughout the summer, kind of goes dead, right? We don't, we don't mess with it. We don't do it. The truck runs good. gets decent fuel mileage, but with me running this older truck and me always being nitty gritty and always having a ear for mechanics, I've came to a conclusion. I'm pretty impressed how much improvement there's to be had to clean up that combustion chamber. Um, yeah, it just really is. Uh, a lot of guys are pump punting around town. It's even worse for them. You know, I'm always on the freeway. My the rest of my fleet's always on the freeway. You know, it's up to operating temp, it's boosted, it's doing this. Like in this case, I'm not even towing anything. Even this is, is, is good for your engine. But when you're towing, it's even better, right? You can put a load on it, and she's boosting, and she's keeping that combustion chamber hot. And there you go, you, you should have, in theory, a cleaner combustion chamber. But that's not always the case. So what I have found, uh, a necessity, is kind of kind of throw in those cleaners in there more often. I could hear the valve train. I could hear the, the way the, the engine seals. So the, the way it fires and shuts off. That's your first uh, telltale sign on a diesel, guys. The way your diesel fires up and shuts down, best way and easiest way to figure out the mechanical health of that engine. Uh, because even like injectors, they can mislead you on, you know, a little bit of ding and ping and uh, rattly sound. The way that thing fires and shuts off will give you the, the compression, a uh, good idea. A mechanic will be able to tell, you know, low, medium, or high, mechanically sound that engine is as far as sealing the compression. Besides the obvious, you know, opening the valve, or the, the valve cover, fill it for the, for the oil. Anyways, fellas, I wanted to underline that. I'll keep this uh, video very short. Try to find additives that attack that combustion chamber the best stuff i found best bang for your buck it goes back to what i've said marvel mist oil it does very well for gas powered engines for me with fuel mileage it's, it, it seems like it's doing pretty good on this diesel it's cleaning it out i've done uh, ever since i've been chasing this issue i've done second i've done prior valve adjustments but i'm on my second one specifically chasing this so what i've found is the fact that when I'm cleaning that combustion chamber, my valves are getting tight. So that means they're seating better there. That, that's in theory in return. Uh, what it's saying is my engine is running better. Meaning if the valves are getting tighter, that means they're seating. That means there's carbon that's built off and I keep adjusting them. Um, I've done two fuel ups back to back. Oh shoot, I forgot to tell you guys. 
I did springs and uh, push rods. When I was doing springs, specifically springs, I realized that my springs were tired. I'll do a, vi a video, a short video about springs and push rods, why I did what I did. But anyways, it's the springs. When I was when I was replacing the springs is what really caught my attention on carbon building. So I'm not just, yeah, I kind of felt like it kind of sounded like it, but there's facts and there's proof that I, I'm able to support or supply with myself so I'm, I'm i'm testing that right now second uh, valve adjustment i know there's going to be a third one i can feel it i can kind of hear it i do not know if it's going to be a fourth one but there's definitely something to be said and had with, uh, running cleaners pertaining to your combustion chamber um i feel like stanodyne uh, used to be a really good product i haven't tested it recently i heard the owner changed i don't know if they changed the formula I heard really good things on a, uh, what is that, hot shot guys, you know, uh, here in the near future I'll be picking up a new truck and I want to test it on that vehicle, I want to see what it's doing there, maybe I'll do it on this vehicle if I drive this vehicle long enough, but it's somewhere here or there, I will be testing Stanodyne, not Stanodyne, a hot shot guys, with Amsoil, I heard really good, I mean Amsoil as a company is a solid company, I feel like their oil is a little overhyped, uh, but uh, their cleaners seem to be solid. Anyways, I better wrap this up. Uh, Lucas is not going to help you with combustion chamber cleaning, not from my experience, but something more uh, chemical based. And what I mean by that, something more aggressive, more on the cleaner side, more on the, it's kind of hard to describe it. Like, when you take a whiff, let's put it this way. When you take a whiff of the, the Schaefer's cleaner, man, it makes you go cross-eyed. So much chemicals in there. But I tell you what, it does the trick. It cleans the cam uh, chamber. It cleans the whole system real well. Schaefer's 2000, their Carbon Clean 2000 is my go-to cleaner. Hands down, from my experience. But that's not very cost-efficient, what I mean by that. It's a big premium to pay, I think you're in the hundreds of dollars just to buy a pail of that stuff and that's what I use that's my go-to so um, that's something else but average Joe I tell you I know Marvel mystery oil isn't safe for 07 and up I just tell you to run it two two ounces per 10 gallons maybe three ounces but I I'd shoot for that two to three and your after treatment is gonna be just fine as long as you keep the thing operational temping and uh, <clears throat> Move, moving along, scooting along on the interstate, you're, you're just fine. Don't go heavy on that stuff because it does, it will. I haven't seen it, but I'm pretty sure based on its uh, chemical formulation, it's going to put a toll on your after treatment. Just, just run light dosage. It does the trick. It does it well. Um, anyways, fellas, as always, may the Lord bless you. May Almighty find day in the comment section. Let me know I can elaborate on any of these videos. Uh, I feel like my days are numbered with this older truck, so I'm just trying to share this with the video. This is what the channel was built on, just sharing experience. I've been so overwhelmed and overloaded with other things lately that obviously I've been messing on YouTube, but I'm back, and I'm back to the best of my abilities, and I'll continue doing what I love doing. This is a hobby, one of my hobbies. Anyways, God bless you, and have a mighty fine day.